11 a.m. update on Tropical Storm Aaron. As we look on this Tuesday morning, it's still moving along. In fact, it's picked up just a little bit of forward speed, now moving west at 23 miles per hour. It is about a 1,765 miles there to the east of the northern Leeward Islands. That was at 11 o'clock. Now you can see that track is going to bring it closer and closer, but it is expected to stay north of the Leeward Islands. Now, the official hurricane forecast track, it does call for strengthening. This will be the first hurricane of the Atlantic season. And if the hurricane center's right, Saturday night into Sunday, it could become the first major hurricane of the season as well. It's forecast to be at Cat 3 by late Saturday night into early Sunday. Earlier this morning, the forecast track was just a little farther to the north. The cone of uncertainty was just north of the islands here. Now the track has shifted a little farther to the south. And while it's still unlikely to hit Puerto Rico or the Virgin Islands and Northern Leeward Islands, it's gonna be a little closer, it looks like, as the trend is taking it a little farther to the west and south. You look at the spaghetti plots here, eventually there is an anticipated turn to the north. There's a front that's going to approach the east coast from the west, and out ahead of it, the wind should turn it. But as we take a look at the models here, you'll notice while the GFS model, and you'll see it pop up here on yellow, while this carries it closer to Bermuda, the European model carries it farther to the west, a little closer to the Bahamas, and eventually, closer to the Outer Banks as well. The center's staying offshore, but it does look like it's gonna churn up the seas, bring some higher surf levels and some dangerous rip currents.